What's up guys, this is Chris, back with another video. Hey, in today's video, we got a little family project going on. We are gonna be replacing the carpet on our trailer bunks. As you can see behind me, they're completely tore up. So we're gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to properly put brand new carpet on your trailer bunks. Let's get started. All right, first things first, let's start off with everything that you are going to need. The very first thing is you're gonna need a set of staples. Staple the carpet into the wood. These are stainless steel marine grade staples. You can get these at any uh, hardware store or we got them at West Marine. I'm gonna be linking all this stuff in the description box below. So if you need it, make sure you check the description box below. You should be able to order all this stuff right off of Amazon. But make sure you get marine grade stainless steel staples. You don't wanna use normal staples because if you back your trailer in salt water, they'll rust and corrode like literally the first use. Next thing, you're just gonna need a simple staple gun. These staples fit in all staple guns, so, well not all staple guns, but standard staple guns. So you can just get yourself a cheap little uh, staple gun and it'll be useful. Next thing you're gonna need is a pair of scissors. You're obviously gonna wanna get all your old carpet off your bunk, so make sure you get some scissors or a knife, pocket knife, anything, you know, serrated edges so you can get the uh, carpet off. Finally, we're gonna need some brand new carpet. Now you can't get, you shouldn't get normal carpet from like a Lowe's or anything like that. I'm not sure if uh, hardware stores carry like marine bunks. They should, but if they don't, you know, we got these off West Marine and you can buy everything in the description box below. But make sure you get some marine grade carpet. And that's everything that you're gonna need. So let's get started. All right guys, so the very first step to this, you're ripping all the carpet off. Clay's already back there tearing it up. So as we're taking off the carpet, one of the easiest things that I'm already finding is you're gonna wanna take the staples out of your boards. Now you can either take them out or actually hammer them into the boards, but while you're taking the carpet off, one of the easier things to do is get it started and then just slowly rip your staples out so it's stuck there under the wood. But if you just go down here, you can actually rip the carpet and the staples out at the same time. Now watch your thumbs, you don't wanna get one of those staples in, but as you see, you can actually cut that. And then you see all these staples that are inside the carpet and it's coming right off the bunks. All right, so one thing we noticed that you might want really quickly is a pair of like needle nose pliers or any type of pliers. When you're pulling the carpet off, like I was with my hands, the needle nose made it a lot easier. As you're going, you're gonna see all these leftover staples. You can either take your needle nose and then just pull them out of the wood, like one by one, and then obviously you wanna throw them away, not on the ground, or take your hammer and then just nail, basically wanna flatten all the nails that you see that are left over or pull them out because you don't want them poking through your, uh, your carpet. All right guys, now that we got all the old carpet off of our bunks, it's time to replace it with new carpet. It really helps if you have a couple people to do this. Uh, one person, it can be a pain in the butt. Clay's gonna roll it on out, and we're just gonna fit it to the bunk. And we actually already cut this one. Just make sure you have a lot of uh, left over here so you can actually fold it under the, the wood. Then you're gonna take your staple gun and just start uh, putting it in. Make sure the carpet is nice and tight on there and it's flush. We had to get a brand new staple gun and it's gonna make our process go a lot faster. I'm finding that the key is to have somebody hold it really tight on the other side while the other person just goes down and staples them in. Yep. It makes it a lot, uh, lot faster. All right, so as you guys can see, the bunks look a hundred times better than they originally did. No, that is not a professional job by any means, but saved us hundreds of dollars and getting them done from uh, somebody else by just doing it ourselves. All right guys, as you can see, we are officially done with the bunks. Like I said, not a professional job, but hey, we got them done, you know, with a couple simple things, uh, you know, needle nose pliers, knife, scissors, staple gun, a new staple gun. We actually had to go get a new staple gun and man, the electric staple gun made it way, way faster. It was only 30 bucks, so the 30 bucks is definitely worth it. 
don't buy a cheap little staple gun get you a nice electric one or even the air compressed ones are probably really good i'd say the key to our success was definitely um you know two or more people especially when you're redoing the carpet one person can hold the carpet nice and tight while the other one goes down and uh staples like my brother was doing i was just holding the carpet nice and tight and then he was going down the carpet uh stapling nice and quick i mean i i'd say after we got um the first two done, the probably the last four were a lot faster than the first two. What do you think, Clay? Probably. So, Took us a minute. hey, if you guys uh, learned something, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the page for more, leave it any questions you have in the, in the comments section below. All right, guys, peace. Peace.